ultrasound findings of high digit T form mold. It is a form of gestational trophoblastic disease that arises from abnormal trophoblastic proliferation. It can be classified as complete hydatiform mole and partial hydatiform mole. Ultrasound plays a crucial role in the diagnosis, often revealing distinct findings for these molar pregnancies. What are the ultrasound findings? Snoop storm appearance, a heterogeneous echogenic intrauterine mass with numerous small cystic spaces representing hydropic villi, hypervascularity. On Doppler ultrasound, there is increased flow within the trophoblastic tissue, also called as low resistant flow pattern. No fetal parts or amniotic sac is seen. Since there is no fetal development, the uterus lacks an embryonic or yolk sac. In second trimester, the classic bunch of grape appearance becomes more prominent, showing multiple and echoic cystic spaces within the uterus. The uterus is larger than expected for the gestational age due to excessive trophoblastic proliferation. Theca lutein cysts may be more prominent due to prolonged beta-HCG stimulation. The ultrasound features also show thickened multicystic placenta. The placenta appears enlarged with multiple small cystic spaces. Fetal parts may be present. A malformed fetus or embryonic structures may be visualized, but it is often growth restricted. Oligohydramnios, which means decreased amniotic fluid, is common. Theca lutein cysts less common than complete moles, but can still be present. Doppler findings show low resistance, high flow pattern due to vascular proliferation. Increased uterine artery blood flow may be seen. Theca lutein cysts are often seen. These are ovarian cysts that may be present due to high beta HCG level stimulating the ovaries. These cysts are usually bilateral, multilocular, and greater than 6 cm. What is the management and treatment? Diagnosis confirmation, which is through ultrasound or transvaginal scan. Serum beta HCG, which is markedly elevated. Histopathology after evacuation. Let's discuss the treatment of molar pregnancy. First line of treatment to remove molar tissue is D and C, which is through suction and evacuation. Hysterectomy. Considered in older women or those with no further reproductive desires. Post evacuation follow up. Serial beta HCG monitoring until levels normalize to prevent progression to gestational trophoblastic neoplasia. Contraception. At least 6 to 12 months of contraception is used to prevent pregnancy until beta HCG levels remain normal. What are the complications? Gestational trophoblastic neoplasia, persistent or invasive mold requiring chemotherapy, which is methotrexate or actinomycin D. Early detection and proper management improves prognosis and reduces complications. Regular follow-up is crucial for ensuring complete resolution. What is the differential diagnosis? Incomplete or missed abortion. Retained products of conception, RPOCs, can mimic hydatiform mole but lack the classic vesicular pattern. Degenerating fibroids can appear heterogeneous but do not have a snowstorm pattern. Placental mesenchymal dysplasia shows a cystic placenta but coexists with a normal fetus. Remember to share, like and follow the channel. Please drop your comments in the comment box below. Thank you.